Hey, it's Arjun, CEO of Doula, and in today's video, I'm gonna run through the pros and cons of starting an LLC in Delaware. Let's dive in. If you're new to the world of business, you may be surprised to learn that not all businesses incorporate in the state that the owner lives in. Many businesses form an LLC in another state to take advantage of the laws there. One of the most popular states to form an LLC in is Delaware. But why is this? And what are the real pros and cons of an LLC in Delaware? First, let's start. What are the advantages of forming an LLC in Delaware? Business-friendly laws. Delaware is well known for having some of the most business-friendly laws in the United States. Their state statutes, such as the Delaware General Corporation Law and the Limited Liability Company Act, are kept up to date in consultation with top corporate lawyers. These laws are often studied by business students and modeled by other states. Delaware's courts are efficient and knowledgeable. The Court of Chancery in Delaware hears all cases involving Delaware business entities, and the judges in this court specialize in corporate law. They are well known for their expertise in business matters and the ability to come to a decision quickly. This means you won't have to spend huge amounts of time or legal defense should you face a lawsuit and vice versa. Protection for your LLC. We often only consider how the business getting into financial difficulty can affect the members or the owners. But what if one of the members gets into financial difficulty? Delaware has taken this possibility into account and LLCs formed in Delaware have protection from any member's creditors, which means the business will be protected should someone's personal financial situation go South. Delaware offers tax advantages. You don't have to pay income tax in Delaware if you don't do business within the state. And the same goes for sales tax. You also don't have to pay on intangible income, which is any income that comes from intellectual property, such as books, film rights, etc. Another major pro of forming your LLC in Delaware is you don't have to make your name public on the record. Many states and countries around the world make it a requirement that you must share your name and address of members of an LLC, which are then put on the public record. Understandably, few people like this. Why? Because it risks your privacy and your potential safety. Delaware does not make this a requirement. The LLC certificate in Delaware only needs to include the name of the LLC and the name and address of the registered agent. Another major pro of forming an LLC in Delaware is that you can form series LLCs. Delaware allows businesses to form an LLC with other LLCs built into it. You can think of this as a parent company with other companies on underneath it. Each series can have different members and the liabilities are entirely separate. Another huge benefit of forming your company in Delaware is that venture capitalists and angel investors prefer Delaware. Many angel investors and venture capitalists as well as institutional investors require businesses that they invest to incorporate in Delaware. Though you should note that many investors require businesses they invest in to be formed as a Delaware C corporation. The point to note here is that if you are looking to raise US venture capital or your investor requires it, you should form a Delaware C-Corp. However, if you're not raising U.S. venture capital, you should oftentimes form an LLC. Another major pro of forming an LLC in Delaware is that you can file quickly. The process of forming a Delaware LLC is relatively straightforward. It's efficient and it's quick. It's true that filing is fast in most states nowadays. However, Delaware boasts one of the most streamlined and effective processes, and it can be done in under an hour. Now that you've heard the pros, let's run through something that you're probably wondering. What are the disadvantages of forming an LLC in Delaware. Knowing the disadvantages of filing in the first state will enable you to make the right decision for your business. Con number one, you must pay a yearly LLC tax. This is the case in most states, so maybe it's not really a con, but the fee is $300 in Delaware, which is higher than other states. It's important to take your time to do your research and compare the annual franchise fee or annual report fees of Delaware versus other states. Dual registration. If you don't live and operate in Delaware, you'll also have to register in your home state which means you have to do everything twice. You won't have to pay taxes there per se, but you will still have to pay filing fees in both states. This is a major drawback for small businesses with limited time and resources. You'll have to maintain a registered agent. This will likely be the company that you paid to form your LLC there, though you may pay another person or agent or contact to be your registered agent. I advise that you do not be your own registered agent because it opens you up to risk. You have to have a physical presence in the state with daily office hours 
years, you can be subject to additional costs. Operating in another state gets complicated quickly because you may incur additional costs in managing your business in both places. If you file or are subject to a lawsuit, you may have to pay for legal representation in Delaware and your home state. Series LLCs are unique to Delaware. Delaware is one of the only states that accept series LLCs, and most other states don't accept them yet. The business structure has yet to face a legal test, and so you may find that other courts in other states don't respect the separated assets and liabilities, which may get you into trouble depending on what your business is doing. You may accidentally get into legal trouble. When you operate your business in two places, as someone new to the business world, it's easy to make mistakes and potentially operate illegally within the state you call home. If you form your LLC in Delaware, you need to register your LLC as a foreign LLC in your home state. If you don't do this and the state finds out, you'll get a citation. Even if you were ignorant of the requirements, it doesn't matter. The tax advantages rarely benefit SMBs. One of the reasons investors are interested in Delaware are due to the tax benefit, but you can rarely reap the benefits of these as a small or even medium-sized business. Remember, small businesses are defined as having annual revenue of less than 21.5 million and less than 1,500 employees. You've got to remember that you pay taxes where you make money, not where you register. So if you make your money in your home state, you have to abide by those taxes. Are things different if I run an online business? Great question. And the answer, not if you reside within a US state. Your online business will be taxed where you are. So if you live in Louisiana, you'll pay taxes there, even if you register your business in Delaware. If you live outside the US, you'll pay taxes in your home country, as long as you have an online digital business and don't have a physical presence in the US. In most cases, forming an LLC in Delaware when you do not reside within the state is just a headache. It is beneficial for global companies or folks outside the US, but for the average new business owner, starting with one to 10 employees, an LLC formed in your home state will be the best way to go. And it will ensure you don't overpay in fees for little to no extra benefit. So that's my recommendation. Last but not least, I'm gonna run through some of the most frequently asked questions we get when it comes to forming a Delaware LLC. Is setting up a Delaware LLC worth the cost? It depends on your individual circumstances and goals. If you are looking for asset protection, tax savings, flexibility in management, and access to a large pool of business expertise, then setting up a Delaware LLC may be worth the cost. What are the tax savings associated with setting up a Delaware LLC? Delaware LLCs are subject to lower taxes than other states and can benefit from the state's favorable tax laws. How much does it cost to set up and maintain a Delaware LLC? The cost of setting up and maintaining a Delaware LLC will vary depending on the services you require and the complexity of the the paperwork. That's a wrap. I hope after watching this video, you feel like an expert when it comes to understanding the pros and cons of forming a Delaware LLC. Thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to reach out if you have any additional questions on Delaware LLCs and see you in the next video.